you saw in this video that the counselor was trying to be comforting, welcoming, using smile, eye contact and pleasant voice greeting the client and nothing more than that. No advice, no suggestions and gradually the counselor asks questions which the client likes about this child's likes and gradually the client the, uh, was made to talk about what she does not like. So, the client is made comfortable, she talks about her likes and slowly she starts talking about things she finds difficult. So, this is what counselling is involved. Generally, when clients are talking, they are not understanding their real problems. In fact, in real life also, we do not really pay focus attention to our problem areas. Let me give you an example. When you have to submit an assignment, only 4 days are left, but you in your mind are thinking 4 days are left, when after that I have to submit my assignment. Then a friend asks you, have you completed your assignment and you say casually, 4 days are still left, I have enough time. Your friend says, no 4 days are not left, 2 days you have to spend in doing assignment of another teacher, 1 day you have to spend on some urgent other work, personal work, maybe a plan with friends and then only 1 day is left and you like a start you realize that yes the other person is correct. So, like this we do not think about the problems that are bothering us very clearly. Similarly, our clients also when they come to us with a problem, they are not paying focus attention to their problems. They are only thinking in a vague and distant manner about their issues. A counsellor through appropriate listening, interposing appropriate questions by making them comfortable help them to reflect on their problems clearly and think deeply. Like in this example, your friend help you to think clearly about the time you have left with you to attempt the assignment. And uh, friends, these kind of comfortable situations, positive climate helps a client to focus their attention on their problems and gradually unravel the deep issues that are associated with the problem. So, this is how initial in rapo formation proceeds. This is the first phase of rapo formation. After that, you use other counseling skills like paraphrasing, confronting, uh, etcetera. So, uh, today we discussed what rapo formation involves, how during rapo formation you practice attending skills and you make the client comfortable and help the client to reflect on their problems by listening to them and asking appropriate questions. Mm -hmm.